the spirit said, brooding. His word was in my bones. Forget brooding. about acquisition. Acquisition Over is tertiary. The primary the goal brooding. of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire. Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire. God has given you a key. The wonder walking God is ever willing to arise concerning your life. But the key here is that you must know how to use the twin spiritual forces of prayer. We have done one with praise. Can you lend me five or ten more minutes because I want us to pray. Now that you have secured, you have worked in keeping with the protocol of approaching the king. The Bible says, let us therefore come boldly before the throne of grace. Is that in your Bible? Yes. That you can make petitions, you can present your requests with confidence. And he said, this is the confidence that we have. That if we ask anything according to his will, that we know that he hears us. What is his will? That all men be saved. So any prayer about salvation, you can be sure it is done. What is his will? That no inhabitant in Zion will say, I am sick. That means when you pray to rebuke sickness, it is godly. What is his will? I wish above all things that ye prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Is that true? Yes. What is his will? That your influence be established. Genesis 17 and verse 6. It says, and I will make you exceeding fruitful. Is that true? And that I will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of you so influence is god's destiny for you what is his will that the path of the just is as a shining light shining ever brighter even to his perfect what is his will that god is able to make the barren woman to be a joyful mother of children what is his will as for me and my house we will serve the lord so anyone who is part of your house directly or by leadership you can bring them under that prayer cover i'm already giving you prayer points so that when it's time to pray you pray intelligently and with confidence knowing that once your prayer is within the circumference of the will of the father there is a guarantee that you are praying a prayer that will be answered what is his will that you excel the bible says and isaac began to prosper and he prospered and went forward he works great until he was very prosperous and the philistines envied him what is his will that he can cause men and grant them the power to prosper what is his will and i will restore the years that the canker worm so restoration is his will I'm showing you his will so that when you pray, you pray intelligently. What is his will? That he can cause the nations. You will call on one man and that a nation can answer you. Yes, sir. What is his will? Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. It shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to do and observe all that I command you this day that you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth and that this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. Blessed shall you be in the city. Blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall be your needing trough. It's in the Bible. What is his will? That when men say there is a casting down, for you, you will say there is a lifting up. Yes, sir. Now that you know his will, it grants you the boldness to approach the throne of grace, knowing that everyone that asketh, receiveth. Are we together? So for the next five or ten minutes, if you need to find a prayer partner, that's all right. If you need to walk around, that's all right. The worship team will just charge the atmosphere while we pray. Pray in the spirit and make petitions. The next ten minutes is for crying your request. Don't keep quiet. Ye have not because he has not. Foundations of the fire. And the believers that are here gathered and those following online. Please open your mouth and begin to pray.
over that health situation pray over that financial situation pray over your ministry over your business over the call of God upon your life over your marriage over your fruitfulness pray Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, doors opening, oh yes, oh yes, in the name of Jesus, higher levels, higher dimensions in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are still praying. Please look up. What do you expect when the mighty God shows up? Supernatural interventions. Do you know what it means to intervene? To intervene means to midwife, to come as a midwife between you and whatever trouble it is to create a permanent separation. When the wonder working power of God comes, what do you expect? Impartations of wisdom. Because there are many things in life that are wisdom dependent. James 1 5, it says, Does any man lack wisdom? James 1 5, it says, Let him ask, let him ask of God wisdom to run your company wisdom to run your organization wisdom to be a global influence wisdom to lead your conglomerate there are times that sophia natural wisdom may be insufficient you need to outsource the wisdom that is from above what do you expect when the mighty god shows up in your life boldness and courage because there are many times you know what to do but the courage to take the step he said if it be thou bid me come and he said come in Acts chapter 4 from verse 29 to 31 they prayed for courage to be given to them grant with boldness that they may preach the gospel and that signs and wonders may be wrought in the name of your holy son the Bible says and the building shook and they went and began to preach with boldness there are many of us please look at me we're praying there are many of us here what you are receiving tonight is boldness you have written the business plan for forever but the fear to step out what if I fail what if you succeed And to deliver them who through fear have all their lifetime been subject to bondage can I tell you there is no physical guarantee anywhere your guarantee is the Word of God there are many times you have to step on the water and walk alone in this prayer many of you are going to kill fear permanently <laughs> hallelujah Apostle, I want to do the PhD, but I'm, I'm afraid. Where will I get the scholarship from? It's better to start and fail honorably than to remain in fear. Are we together now? I'm telling you, there are businesses that will emerge from tonight. Some of you, okay, I, I applied for jobs last year. I did not get anything. Master, we have toiled all night. He said, nevertheless, at thy word. But they had to go back again. Go back again even Jesus there was a time he touched the eyes of one who was blind and asked the person are you all right now he says well I've started seeing but I see men like trees he would have said it's an embarrassment to my anointing he had no time for regret he touched the eyes again for someone your prophetic word is do it again do it again pray again start again do it again do it again hallelujah the Bible says Adam knew his wife and she bare Cain and Abel in the course of time Cain killed Abel 
left the woman Eve with a lot of grief and pain. But I like the Bible. It says, and Adam knew his wife again, and she bore Seth. It says, and then men began to call upon the name of the Lord. Again, it's a powerful word. It means I've corrected my mistakes of yesterday. Again, it's a powerful word. It means I know better today than I knew yesterday. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Maybe it's a CEO. Maybe someone who failed and failed woefully. Can I tell you, again, it's a powerful word. Rejoice not over me, my enemies, that even though I fall, in the name of Jesus, I will yet rise again. I will yet rise again. Open your mouth in the next one, two minutes and begin to make prophetic declarations in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, you are arising for me, arising for my children, arising for my husband, my wife, arising for my corporation, turning me into a global phenomenon. Someone open your mouth and pray. You are doing this for your name's sake. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, what do you expect when the wonder working power of God comes to your life? Someone said divine direction. First Samuel 30 and verse 8. You see, please look up. How many of you have tried to drive somewhere and then when you got to the regions of the place, you know that the place is somewhere, but I don't know exactly where. The first thing you have to do is it will slow down your speed. The moment there is confusion as to your direction, your speed must be affected. Are we together? Then the second thing is that the margin of error will be wide because you, you will knock somebody's gate who will say you are an armed robber. Leave this place. In the process, you will be frustrated. If you are not careful, your car will hit someone. Are we together now? Direction is powerful because every time there is an absence of direction, it affects your speed. And I hope you know that destiny is a function of time. Whatever steals into your time has taken a portion of your destiny. That is why there is speed and there is restoration. These are systems of advantage that help us to gain time. Let's read First Samuel chapter 30 and verse 8 together. I hope you are not tired. We are wrapping up. One to read. David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail, recover all. Without fail, without fail, without fail, recover all. Without fail, recover all. Lord, should I go back to that same business or should I do another one? Lord, should I relocate to the U.S. or should I stay in Nigeria? Never assume direction. Listen, listen, listen. When the devil wants to destroy great destinies, huh? the Bible says there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. It says, but the end thereof. That means you will be walking for a long time thinking you are right. Sometimes it's after 15 years you will know you were wasting your time. And how many of you know that if you plan to go to say, um, you plan to go to a particular location and you move opposite it, when you realize you will not disappear from there, you have to start from there. Is that true? Divine direction is one of the chief sponsors of delay. The absence of divine direction. Divine direction. Don't assume that everybody is doing the business you too, you will come and do. Mm -mm. And Isaac sowed in that land. It didn't make sense to sow in that land. You see, believers, we have an advantage of the voice of God. And no matter how long it will take, stay till you hear God but when you hear him run with the speed of Elijah hallelujah perhaps that will be the last prayer tonight and then I speak over our lives if you don't have a problem with direction look for someone connected to you who is desperately in need do you know one prophetic instruction that directs companies there are companies that have lost billions of dollars billions of naira not because of incompetence because of assumption 
not every open door is God's door even the prison has a door so just because a door is open you need to find out where you are entering a door can be open wonderful business opportunity and at the end you find out that billions have vanished with no explanation plunging people into depression and all kinds of health things he said when I send thee lackest thou anything someone is going to pray for your church for your life father what is the next five years going to look like what is the next 10 years going to look like grant me direction so that i do not shadow box around my life the bible says the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the lord please open your mouth and begin to pray pray direction oh let your voice come let me hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk ye in it it is risky to make assumptions don't just relocate because others are going and don't just remain because they are talking about those going you must find out what is your blueprint for my destiny for now someone pray to your father you are a man of God pray for direction don't assume God wants you to start a ministry pray for direction hallelujah hallelujah true story I'm about to speak over your life I know a gentleman who God has so marvelously blessed marvelously fearfully blessed and what changed the life of that gentleman was one prophetic instruction one he was at a point in his life where everything was going down very brilliant smart gentleman but he didn't have any advantage around his life and this guy was tired and he cried and prayed and fasted was frustrated was humiliated and an instruction came a particular person in this nation and the Lord led him to just go and I think was it to greet the person so bless the person and just tell the person about what he does how he would even get to that person was an impossible thing and um, that person's security would throw you out from right from the entrance of the gate but he believed God and he took that step of faith and he did not even meet the man he met the man in an occasion an occasion he was not invited he just saw people and he decided to take a step of faith. And then he knelt down and greeted the man. Who are you? This and that. Do I know you? I said, no, sir. I came to do this. And he looked at him. Brought this seed and he laughed at it. Held the seed and was, what, 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 are you, what do I do with this? And then he told him, and honestly, true story. He told him, he said, I'm very touched by your boldness. And he told somebody there. He said, this gentleman, see him tomorrow. There's something I'm going to tell you. The rest is history it was like day and night when this gentleman's life changed you know how you change from a, a dirty cloth to a clean cloth that's what happened it is not very difficult for god to lift people it's just that sometimes believers are careless the person promised me that by next week my life no man men do not fail because they are bad they fail because they are men are we together Lord should I pursue should I overtake and God can say for others they should go but for you stay back and you will stand there not making sense while you are there but it's in your standing God will bring the, your destiny helper and the person will say why are you standing here and you say because the king said I should stay he say oh I now see why the king told me to come your direction too listen the man who was tying the colt, remember the colt that Jesus rode on? When the guy was tying it, the Bible says a colt that no man had ridden upon, including the owner. I'm sure God gave him an instruction. This is your colt, but you are preparing it for a nobler task. How do you have a donkey that you don't ride upon? And he tied it there. When it was time for the triumphant entry, I'm establishing your last prayer point. 
Jesus tells them, go to a place where the streets divide and you will see a coat where no man, including the owner, had ridden upon. He said, lose it. And if they ask you, tell them the master. In other words, everybody who owns things is a steward. When the master makes a demand, they must lose it and let it come. Are we together now? You are going to pray. You are going to pray. Do you know what your prayer is going to be? That wherever the helper of your destiny is in this season, may God direct you and create a supernatural connection. Please open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare. Someone is praying. Everyone who has been anointed by God, mandated by the King to assist in my rising, to assist in my shining to assist in my showing forth in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare supernatural direction the steps of a righteous man even if a righteous businessman even if he's a righteous career man a righteous man of God a righteous mother a righteous wife a righteous student the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire. Let your mind be holy. God's fire.